is my camera so hazy? I think it's the lighting. Because I've like cleaned my camera so many times already. Okay, anyway, today you're gonna eat more food. I'm so glad Whole30 is over because I like saw all these snacks I wanted to try and I didn't get to try them. So here I am. Um, where's my box? So Helen recommended this Brazilian cheese bread from <clears throat> Trader Joe's. So um, I'm gonna try it. I actually had a piece already. It's actually really good. So, but don't tell anyone. So basically, it comes in like um a box, a box of like I don't know, twelve or something like that. You gotta bake it for like five minutes, and yeah, it's just ready to eat. It's really cheesy, and the middle is like jelly-ish. Can you see that? It's like a really good snack because it's like, I think you should make this before you like um start making a whole meal because it like kind of fills you up while you're cooking. I really like it. And then, so, I bought a bunch of pastries from Porto's. This is bakery in LA that I love. So I decided to spend like $80 on like boxes of pastries. I only got like four boxes for them to ship from LA to New York. Yeah, that's how I waste my money. And one of them is this potato ball. And it's just a potato ball. I mean, you can get it here, but then like, you know, it's Porto, so. Filled with potato, meat, um, peppers, sausages, uh, so, some kind of sauce. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so messy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I could eat this all day. But I shouldn't. It's so good. I highly recommend you guys if you have money to waste, to spend. If you have extra money that you want to use, spend it on Porto's. This is like the break at home series. They have a lot of stuff. They have meat pies. They have um, cheese rolls. They have like these Dolce de Leche um, pastries that I got. I made like 12 yesterday and they're all gone. Okay, so here's some other stuff that I got that I never got to try. I saw this apple pie Kit Kat. So let's try it. I just like, I don't really care for Kit Kats anymore. I feel like it's like a phase that I'm through. <clears throat> but I thought it would be interesting. So. Oh, it smells so sweet. It really does smell like apple pie, but ugh. I'm having like diabetes just smelling it. It tastes like apple pie. Um, it's not bad, you know, compared to all the flavored. Kit Kats that I've tried. This is pretty good. Um, I can see like my coworkers liking it. Mm. So I went to J Mart yesterday and I saw these. Um, I don't know. I guess they're like egg rolls. But they're boba flavor. Like I didn't even look. I just saw this and I'm like, snatch it. I really like how these snacks are all like individually packed. It's like really like a good gift because not like a gift, but like it's like if I don't like it, I can just give it to people and I don't have to finish it myself. Oh, okay. So I would, I was thinking that it would have like boba in there, but it doesn't look like it. 
kind of smells like bubble tea. Oh. Yeah. The cream is all bubble tea filling. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I like any boba snacks. Like, all the snacks that I've tried, I don't like it, any of them except for the brown sugar almonds I just tried the other day. But that doesn't have boba. Um, lastly, this one. This is like a matcha brown sugar boba ice cream. So like this, I mean, I can't see that this could taste bad. I feel like it could taste sweet, but like, I like matcha, I like bubble tea, I like brown sugar, and hopefully it lives up to the hype. I paid $10 for this box, by the way, so it better be good. really chewy like really chewy I don't like the brown sugar I don't know I don't like it I read this um this girl was saying like, this is like one of her favorite things this is not my favorite thing do I like it more than the regular no I feel like if there's matcha popsicles, I would just eat the matcha one. I don't like it with the brown sugar. And I don't like it with this boba. So, I'm going to give it to my friends when they come over. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't want to eat this anymore. Well, that's it. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys all have great plans and you eat better food than I do.